Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnell. I am back with the 100 Day Project and I am very happy to report that we are on day 95. I am, <laughs> I've enjoyed this whole process, but I definitely am ready to maybe move on to something new. Anyway, every day was a new project, but still, it just feels like a hundred days is definitely a very long time. <laughs> anyway, so today's project is a envelope pocket with a policy closure, and I made two different ones. I made one, and I used scraps, but this one wasn't too long, but it definitely looks okay. I still think you can use it, and then this, so this one you'll open the policy closure the base is a envelope so there's a pocket and then you have a pocket in here and it closes and then if you glue it down on three sides you can have a pocket here or here uh, depending on how you glue it down so this one this one I just decorated a little bit. It's the same size envelope. We'll be doing different sizes of envelopes. And, oops, same thing. There's a pocket. And I didn't decorate this pocket because I was not sure. I just thought I'll leave some of them and decorate the inside and maybe leave the inside for a writing space. So that's why I just left it. So, okay, let's start with a just a let's start with the size of envelope that I used to show you what you need to do so first thing you'll do is close the envelope the flap glue it shut okay and then you're going to fold up the bottom of the envelope which would be your pocket. I'm going to make sure these are glued down so they don't interfere when you... Oh, this will be glued down anyway. Okay, but anyway, we'll glue it down. Okay, and then you're going to need some paper. And we'll use this one. And for some reason my printer didn't pull it through all the way and so what I found easiest to do is to put your envelope on top of the paper and make sure you have extra for the flaps to fold over and just follow along your envelope make sure you don't cut the envelope open and then we're going to glue the pocket shut I forgot about that this pocket and then this one you're going to cut open on the top if you want a pocket there you obviously don't have to put add a pocket in there and then we're just going to make a little notch there and you can um, ink it if you want to and then what I found easiest was to you don't need such a big flap I'm gonna cut a little bit off here on the top the easiest for me was to flip this over on this side if you want them to meet get it in there and then on this side and then what I did is I just went in and just fold it in half and just cut on that fold okay and then we are going to just glue the flaps on so what makes this pocket easy is the envelope is your base. Okay. And then this one. So Tina, if you watch her video, she, for this top pocket, she, she kind of flapped. She put this inside here. 
but I'm thinking there's no reason to that just complicates things so I just glued it on the back of my pocket um, the, you can watch her video and decide what you think would work easiest for you I always link all Tina's videos on the day that we're doing this so now it kind of looks like a seamless image because I just cut that in half the next step is to do the policy closure so I'll just quickly show you again so what Tina did on her video she just put her circle down pushed the hole through and then added the brad but then on this side you can see the little brad legs and I don't like that so we're going to make do Tina's um, regular method again this is not my idea this I also saw on Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo so you'll need four one inch circles and then you push I'm just going to show it again I know I showed it in last week's yesterday's video as well or the day before maybe people didn't watch everybody didn't watch and you'll put the brad through open the legs and you'll need two of these and then I like to use my hot glue gun and because it it just gives you a little bit of dimension in between those the legs and it kind of glues flatter for me um, than just my art glitter glue and plus it is fast okay I just feel that that glue kind of goes into the openings between the legs of the bread if that makes any sense but you use any kind of glue that you like then the next step would be to add a string and you can use yarn you can use baker's twine embroidery floss maybe a nice thin ribbon anything for this I'm going to stick with the kind of traditional string because I think got this whole thing from the thrift store I need to finish using it up okay and then we're just so you've glued the bottom circle down the string goes in between the two circles and I just want to pull that a little and then same thing here the string goes in between the circles you make a figure eight or straight whichever way you like and then that is your policy or your envelope pocket with policy closures done and it's fast again because you have you're using a envelope as your base and if you're at all like me you probably buy envelopes at the thrift store when you see them and so you end up with a lot of envelopes I'm just want to see if I have some scraps left that will fit on this envelope but it's too short okay so we'll use this one and of course you can use a window envelope let's do one with that and then we'll mass make after that I think if you want the pocket on the bottom you need a taller envelope like this one this is just a junk mail envelope that I have coffee dyed if you want to fold that pocket on the bottom then you need a tall skinny envelope like we're gonna make the same thing from these but they won't have pockets on the bottom so because the, uh, unless you want a kind of short stumpy <laughs> envelope pocket you can do that okay so now we're just going to go ahead and cut this the size of your envelope and maybe I can use this and put that on top of my pocket then I'm using all my scraps that's too short So the 
next step we can cut our pocket open I think what will be really nice and very pretty would be if you collage these junk mail envelopes I normally shy away from that on camera just because it's always it takes quite some time but you can definitely that I think would be very pretty That is not straight, unless the envelope, the envelope might not be straight because sometimes if you coffee dye it stretches out the paper a little bit, but it, it'll work. And then of course you can go in and add decorative paper behind the envelope and then when you add the tag or journaling card inside you can position it so it goes behind the um, windows you know the drill so okay now we're just going to fold over the flaps so we know where to cut and I'm using for my flaps I am using a thinner cardstock because I just feel that policy closure it definitely adds some some extra pressure on your paper opening and closing it and that's why I prefer a bit of a thicker paper you can also just use book pages that you've doubled up for sure you do not have to use a lightweight cardstock for sure. I just, like I say, I prefer that for the policy closures. And then this, now we're just going to glue the flaps on again. Okay. very nice bright yellow and reminds me of the kind of day we're having today we are having a wonderfully very nice sunshiny day oh, I glued this one up way too high um, nice sunshine day so I woke up and by six o'clock I woke up very early because the sun came out early and plus the all the pets wake up early to have breakfast. I wish I could teach them to sleep in, especially on a Saturday. Anyway, let's put the policy closures on. And then the string. I have this piece of string sitting here. Get the piece of string in between the two uh, circles, tie it. You can certainly double knot it if you want to, but I think if you tie it well enough the first time it should be good. And then like that and your paper, your envelope is done. Sounds nice and crunchy. Okay, so let's mass make some of these. And um, so let's start with the envelopes. How many shall we make? Let's see how far we get. So we'll open up the top. Oh, close the envelopes first. The flaps. Oh, so yeah, what I was saying is, so I woke up really early because the sun was up and the pets decided they are hungry. And... Um, oh. So... It was about six o'clock. I was already outside, ready, because I thought the sun is shining. I better 
dye some papers today so I did that and within probably hour hour and a half my first batch was dry it was just perfect and there was no wind blowing to blow away my papers it was just yeah great so yep we do need the rain but I'm very happy that it's subsided for now because I uh, need more papers for my shop again always running low on something and I'm taking this resealable strip off and adding some glue again just because I bought these at the thrift store I don't know how old that seal is already so I'm just making sure that it is will stay put so these I don't have to fold I'm folding the pocket now and we're going to glue the pocket shut so I finished planting all my plants on the weekend yay and I was very very happy Saturday I found a uh, bougainvillea I had a bougainvillea two bougainvillea plants in huge pots for probably eight or nine years now already um, and so this winter I usually I have to take them inside they won't survive the of the snow and the cold so I um but I lost one of them this winter I don't know if it was too cold or what the situation was but so I was very happy when I found a new one at the nursery that I'm um, on Saturday and it is the same color as the one that I already have so I was just overjoyed because they're sitting on the bottom of my steps both the two pots so I would like them to be the same color I planted even that and it was still nice and cool we could sit outside and do some planting There's my printer. This is the second one that the printer kind of didn't pull through all the way. And possibly cut pockets for those. It's a pity these don't fit. Mm. What other kind of scraps do I have here? This one is not going to work. This one will work. Let's use this one. Trying to use scraps as the motto for the day every day because with this 100 day project I used a lot of my scraps but of course as most of you know I also created a lot of scraps as it goes when you are creating things this one oh this one will work or is it just to... Well, it will be better for this one. So we'll make two blue ones. That's the same. It's okay. I want to use the paper as best as I possibly can. Okay. Then I have this one. 
Oh, and I have that annoying bird on the roof again. I think I'll have to get my husband on the weekend to see why this bird are constantly on the roof. And it must be a big bird because I can hear him walking on the roof. It is a flat roof. I'm hoping it's a bird and not some other kind of <laughs> animal. Anything is possible. So... But I don't know if he has a nest up there or if there's something that he can eat. We'll need to see. There's other critters up there that he can... Anything, like I say, anything is possible. I don't even want to think about it. Um, I can possibly use this one. What do I want to do? It is a little bit wider than just the dark pink. Anyway. So we'll have to get up the roof on the weekend and see what this bird is up to because it is extremely distracting when he is up there walking and making noise. Okay, so I've got, I can fold the flaps next. Let's take care of the pockets first. I have this paper here, I might as well add the pocket. choices is never good. Just probably put the ink the glue on here. Might make my job easier as well. So yeah, just five days left if you want to participate in the day one hundred giveaway. here oh that's for that one yeah just five days left if you want to participate so what do you need to do if you comment on more than one video then I will nominate two people per day every day when I answer my comments I usually pick somebody in the morning and um, you'll be put into the draw for the 100 day project oh the 100 day giveaway and you will receive a envelope filled with some of the projects that i've made on the 100 day project and it will be from day 51 till day 100 i might throw a couple in there i uh, know let's keep it then it's fair to the first winner First winner won projects from day 50, 1 to 50. If you want to go see what she won, um, you can go watch my playlist or you can playlist for the 100 day project. I'm sorry, I'm just a little distracted here. Or you can, um, yeah watch that video that's what I'm trying to say anyway and the nominees for today before I forget is Laura and Deb and I was just thinking about another giveaway I saw on the weekend as um, for Colleen from Get Art she's holding hosting a giveaway and it is if you like retro then definitely go to her channel and participate in her giveaway 
I will link that. Oh, I didn't open up the envelope, so we'll do that in a minute. I will link her video in my description box as well. I'll link Tina's video in the description box because at this moment we have passed Tina. She's, I think she did 186 last week, so she'll do 187 on Tuesday. Oh, that one was for this one. Um, so there's only one video, not two like I usually have. What happened here? Anyway, um, because she hasn't made a 195 yet. But, um, the other, I watched a couple of things, a couple of videos this weekend because on Saturday, I don't know, I couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning and I decided I'm going to get up and watch some YouTube videos and I made some clusters in the middle of the night because it was sitting there on the coffee table. And um, anyway, so I watched a couple of videos. I wanted to say congratulations from for um, to Christina from Christina's creation. She reached 500 subscribers. Thank you to anybody that went and subscribed to her channel and helped her to reach her goal. And mm, oh, the other thing I watched was Roxy Creations. Um, just Roxy Creations and Roxy Creations by Sarah at announced the new project for the Roxy Journal of Stitchery Volume 5 and it sounds very interesting it's like a treasure not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet because this time they didn't say make a book or make a scroll or anything like that uh, so then that leaves too many options <laughs> So I'll have to think about that. What will I do? I did go to the flea market on Sunday and um, my friend Camille found a very nice big old spool for me. So I might do another scroll again for that spool. I think it's like 10 inches long like high it's probably high that's what it is yeah so that would be a nice big where's my fold a nice big scroll but i don't know what i'll do yet i maybe should focus first on finishing the current volume what we're on volume three and volume one and two, I still need to bind the books, so maybe I should focus on that first. Finish up some projects. So I don't know, is there any of you who did the Journal of Stitchery with um, Rachel and Sarah? I really enjoy slow stitching, it's so much fun. And just relaxing for some reason. Very relaxing. And with it's just creative as well because there's no rules. For me slow stitching is almost like the junk journaling of scrapbooking. <laughs> there's no rules. The messier the better. You can do whatever you want to. Sounds like a bargain to me. Okay. Still need to open that pocket. That was dumb. I should have done that before. I did all of this, but it's all good. It doesn't have to be 
perfect or any set way. We can do whatever we want to. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep them together so I am not, because my envelopes aren't the same size. As I've said before, if you really want to mass make and make a lot, make 10 projects that has the exact same measurements, I think that is will definitely make you will make way more but on the other end who wants 10 things that's exactly the same i don't know maybe it might take you 10 minutes longer or 15. okay so we're going to add the notch in now which one did i cut I think these window envelopes will look really cute with this closure once you've decorated the inside and you've done you have your tag in why does this one not want to go in have a little bit of glue there okay notches are done now we can glue the flaps on Oops, wrong side. Flap shouldn't go that way. This is, like I said, I usually, when I see envelopes at the thrift store for a good price, I buy them. So I'm constantly looking for ways to use those envelopes. And this is a great and interesting way to use your envelopes. We've done quite a bit of pockets with envelopes as bases throughout the 100 day project. I also have a so I have a playlist for the 100 day project all hundred of them or actually there's a hundred and one but we won't go into that <laughs> and then um, I put the pockets in my pocket playlist and so if you want to just watch the pockets that that I've made before and during the 100 day project you can look at the pocket playlist and I will try to remember to link that pocket playlist for you on this one I just have to make sure I have the rows yeah that will be fine yeah this week will be paper dyeing like crazy because it's going to be 30 degrees almost every day so I'll have to start early in the morning because otherwise it just gets by midday it's just too hot out there because I dry the papers outside not in my oven I just I don't know feel like it's too much work to dry it in your oven especially if you want to dye a hundred papers a day like I usually do for the shop so it's just and the papers if you are interested in the papers I didn't use any today no I didn't but I've shown them in some of my other videos um, and you can always go to my Etsy shop it's Mimi's keepsakes on Etsy and I am working on a another couple of options for buying those products that can maybe bring the price a little down for you guys 
but it's still a work in progress. Okay, maybe I've picked way too many envelopes to finish today. <laughs> Whoops, wrong way, wrong way. Okay, just have to get it in straight. Okay. and let me know I've asked in previous videos if you there's anything you would like to see thank you for Colleen no it was Dale Dale from not too shabby chic for some suggestions she said a grungy journal and she would like to see a video on how to print on fabric so that will definitely happen soon definitely want to make a grungy journal I have not made a grungy journal I bought that one from Cindy at Studio Lou um, but I have not <laughs> I'm it's so pretty I'm kind of scared it's nice and grungy but it's very pretty it's a boiled book if you haven't seen that video go same thing go look on my previous videos um, it's a beautiful journal and I'm kind of scared to work in it because I don't want to mess it up which is just dumb I know should just work in it that's why I bought it but maybe I'll practice first make a grungy journal and then start working in that journal just to you know find a, your style or because because I haven't done a grungy journal before I don't know are you guys the same Do you feel when I buy a journal I'm always hesitant to start working in it but if I made the journal myself I'm okay because if I mess it up I mess it up but yes I don't know maybe there even isn't a way to mess up a junk journal because it's supposed to look junky okay so now the next step would be to glue on the policy closures. Need another glue stick. Oops. Let's see if I have enough policy closures for all these envelopes that I made today. I I think I made more than I normally do with these videos. And you can decorate the inside or you can leave the inside blank and that could just be writing space as well if you don't want to add more decorations on the inside like look at that how much extra writing space there would be plus you have a pocket there always good to have lots and lots of options for writing space if you ask me because that's why you have the journal unless you're doing like a mixed media journal or a art journal then it's probably mostly gluing and painting and doing stuff like that that's the other thing I would like to play with as in my art journal I haven't done much in that one for the longest time probably for more than a year oh yes 
Okay. Last one. Okay. And now we need to add the string. Close them, and just save a couple of seconds later. Okay, now I have to concentrate to make the knots. <laughs> it's terrible, but true. love this bright yellow color. I think it's William Morris as well. Okay, I still have this big fat string. So like I said, for string you can use all kinds of different things and to get a different look for sure. I'm just sticking with this string because then it kind of has that traditional look of a policy closure. And on these, with if you have pretty paper, you do not even have to add decorations, if you ask me. Where's my... Like I've said before, some of these papers are so pretty, you don't want to add anything on top of it. Almost done. Hmm. Where's the end? There. I'm so happy I did. I was when I bought this big fat string. I thought, oh, I don't know if I'll ever use all of it, but I've been using it so much. Like even for eco dyeing, the string is perfect. And then the string also dyes a lovely color that I use for all kinds of other things. So when in doubt, if it's a dollar or two dollars, maybe just take it anyway. <laughs> Sorry, get this not in there. Okay. Okay, so how many did we make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in about mm, 40 minutes that was very long so let's just quickly decorate only one um oh i just touched the screen i have this um cluster sitting here but it's too big it's not gonna work clusters don't always work <laughs> okay uh, I fussy cut a lot of birds. So I got a bird book at the flea market as well. So let's see if we can find a bird that would fit on here. It's kind of a weird shape because you have to keep the policy closure in mind. Definitely makes it difficult. There's this little bird, but I don't know if I like him. Let's see what else I have here. This one's perfect. Maybe I can put him on the top. Okay, 
that's the bottom. Luckily, I looked at that. Maybe we can put him up there. Oh, my nose is itching. And, um, oh my, what else? <laughs> looking for some maybe some scrap papers I have this but is it too shiny and sparkly with a bird maybe that's a little crazy I have a I don't like that on there either mm -mm. let's just add some book page behind the bird Um, policy closure definitely complicates things a little bit for when you're thinking of decorating and maybe yeah like it looks like the bottom part is bigger so we'll put him on the bottom part yes the bottom part is just works out better so we'll do that and I had some lace here if I remember correctly Maybe some lace, and I have some of this pink fabric as well. Okay, let's glue this down first. to glue down some of the lace with some fabric tag. My bottle is pretty empty already so it might <gasps> whoops I dropped it I just want to pick it up okay this is overt just looking at this little bird Not sure if I like this one on here more. Anyway, let's not think about it too much. It's already a very long video. <laughs> okay, we'll just glue the glue down, uh, the lace down. Okay, and then I was thinking maybe make a Tina ruffle. Like everything today is Tina's ideas her project, her ruffles, her um, policy closure. She has a lot of ideas. She's been doing this for quite some time. It's she's not brand new to it. So she definitely has some good ideas that is great to follow. So we'll have that one there. The heat definitely makes you tired way faster than normal because I've been out in the sun there dyeing papers a big part of the day because I couldn't obviously stop at one batch. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, I can feel like I almost feels like I need a nap now. Let's see, let's put a little word in there. Um, That says special. Let's do that. Usually these small words I just keep on the sheet. I kind of feel it's easier to find what you want 
and it doesn't take forever to fussy cut these so special let's just put it there And maybe let's see if we want something on the top there. I have these bigger like apothecary labels, I think. Or pharmacy labels, I can't remember. But maybe if we have that there. Just going to cut it a little smaller. As it has a very wide edge there. We don't need all of it. Here, and shall we add this piece of fabric is almost done. Just some fabric underneath. Hmm. Maybe on the bottom. Okay. I almost feel like I want to have some of the lace on there as well. Just a little piece. Okay. Where did I put the fabric duck? And luckily it's lying on its side. Put that down. And the lace on top. And then the label. Okay, my bottle is still oozing out because it's almost done. Oh, wait, we can't see needs to be a little lower. Probably should have checked that before. But it's still salvageable there. Okay. Okay. And it is done. Just got that little bit of lace off. Okay, now I'm covered in glue again. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. We'll just close this one up. And you can always decorate the inside more. Or just keep it as journaling space. We have this one, also a little birdie. I'll close this one up. Oh, well, none of them are closed up. Thank you for watching. While I close this, I'll say goodbye. I really appreciate all of you watching and all of your wonderful comments and just getting to know you. Ouch, that was the hot glue. <laughs> anyway, be careful of the hot glue gun. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow with another um, 100 day project. I hope you have a lovely day and that you will join me again tomorrow. Bye!